what kind of being are we that only God can satisfy our mm -hmm. hunger? What does that make us? Who are we? This first question is from Michael. He hey, says, Michael. Uh, Hello, Christopher and Wendy. Thank you so much for all the work that you two do with Theology of the Body and this podcast. You are welcome, Michael. He says, it has brought me closer to God, just listening to you two talk about all these topics. I'm going to start reading Theology of the Body for Beginners this week, and I'm pretty excited. Do it, do it, do it. In one of your podcasts, Christopher had a quote from St. Augustine, I believe. Uh, you have made us for yourself, O Lord. And our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Yep, very famous quote from Augustine. Michael says, that is a super awesome quote and made my heart so happy. Mm. Where does that quote come from? So I can maybe look more into St. Augustine and his writings. Yes, that comes from the Confessions. It's right in the opening section of Augustine's Confessions. And it's probably, it's probably, <laughs> it's in the top five of most quoted saint lines, mm -hmm. uh, in my estimation anyway. Mm -hmm. And it really does, uh, I, I remember a few years ago, I heard Bishop Barron say, it really does summarize brilliantly 2,000 years of what the church has been reflecting on about who the human being is. Mm -hmm. It tells us who we are. It tells us what a human being is. What kind of being are we that only God can satisfy our mm -hmm. hunger? What does that make us? Who are we? You cannot say that about a squirrel or a dog or a, a, a rock or a bush. Uh, we are these weird creatures that have a hunger for God. Yeah. And nothing, nothing, nothing can satisfy but God alone. And that puts us in a posture of faith or the lack thereof. Um, faith is really, uh, this is John Paul II's definition of faith, which I, I love very much. Faith is the openness of the human heart to God's gift. And what is God's gift? An infilling with himself. Mm. And then we're back to Augustine. You have made us for yourself, O oh, Lord, yes. and our hearts are restless till we rest in you. Uh, without faith, without a belief that God wants to feed that hunger, the only two other options are to repress that hunger, pretend it's not there, which doesn't last very long because it comes back with a vengeance when we try to squash it, or we try to fill that hunger for the infinite with finite things. And we get a little momentary satisfaction here or there, but in the end, it's, it's a recipe for addiction. I talk about this a lot, as you know, Wendy, that the th a theological definition of addiction is this. Addiction happens when we aim our desire for infinite joy at finite pleasure. We get a little semblance of satisfaction, but it doesn't give us what we really want, so we think we need more. We go and we get more. doesn't satisfy. We go and we get more. doesn't satisfy. Mm -hmm. This is not a life of happiness. Augustine is just such a man. He pursued every pleasure that the world had to offer. And in the end, he realized, you've made us for yourself, O Lord, and my heart's restless till I rest in you. But he also came to see, and this, this unfolds beautifully in the uh, Confessions as well, that the very things that had for a time taken him away from the Lord or been a distraction to his pursuit of the Lord, the Lord brings us back to those things that we were attracted to in the natural world, and we come to see them sacramentally, as God really means them to be. We, In other words, we come to see the pleasures of this world as so many little signs mm -hmm. that are meant to point us to the eternal satisfaction we're made for. And here's a way to put it succinctly. We only get in trouble with the pleasures of the world when we expect them to do what they can't possibly do. They cannot fulfill that hunger. What they can do is give us a little glimmer, a little taste and awaken our hope for the satisfaction that lies in eternal union with the Lord. I think when we think about St. Augustine, one of the striking things is how he is such an early Christian yes. author who writes about so many things 
in in more detail than you find them say in the New Testament, more detail about his own life and struggles, and we find ourselves relating to him and seeing this man experience such tremendous healing in yeah. his life, and it's so hopeful and so connected to like the gospel is the gospel the lord is the lord the truth is the truth like preach it wendy preach it yeah it's <laughs> wonderful that that's such a gift that augustine continues to be continues to bring about conversion through his writings all these you know 1500 years later and and he's well respected in in the secular world as well the mm -hmm. confessions is standard reading in in western literature yeah uh, so yeah, take it up. Take up a study of St. Augustine's Confessions. Yeah. You will not regret it. I also thought of that beautiful Adria Saad song, Restless, oh, yeah, that yeah. she based on that yeah. line from St. Augustine. You might just find that blesses your heart just as that quote did. Yeah, look, at, look up that song, Michael, by uh, Adria Saad. It's great. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to share it with people who need to hear this message, please do that and consider subscribing to the channel.